Hello, let's get into the first step without further ado. The first step is to download the .jar server from the official Minecraft website, link in description. Download the .jar server by clicking here. When the download is finished, we need to create a new folder and place the server file inside it. The next step is to create a new text file to write the command to start the server. Go back to the website and copy the server starting command and put it in the text file that we created. Save the file as start.bat. Now we edit the .bat file and change this file name to server.jar, because that's the name of our server in the same folder. We need to check how many gigabytes of RAM we have. Do this by opening the task manager and clicking on the performance tab. In my case it's 8 gigabytes. To start the server without issues you need more than 1 gigabytes, and for me I think 2 gigabytes are enough. Change the maximum amount of RAM you want the server to use from here, you can write 2048 megabytes or simply write 2G. Now start the start.bat file, as you see it's creating the server and generating the world, and new files and folders is added to the main server folder. When the CMD is closed we go and edit the EULA file. Change this to true. You can change the server properties by editing this file. You can change things as the world difficulty and PVP and more. Here you can change the name of the server, I will simply name it Romy Server. If you want the cracked version players to be able to join your server you need to search for this online mode property and change it to true. Now we need to allow the server through the firewall, search and open the Windows Defender firewall, click on Advanced Firewall Settings. Click on Inbound Rules, Create New Rule. Port. Write the same port as in the Server Properties file. TCP. Name it any name you want, then finish. Repeat the same process again but this time we choose UDP instead of TCP. After we finish we go to the outbound tab and repeat the same two steps, but be careful that this has to be on allow connection. Next we need to apply the port forwarding in the router page. The web page will be different for you. Search for port forwarding. In the port forwarding page, select the TCP and UDP protocol. Write any name you want. Open the CMD. Write IP config. Look for your internet provider. Copy the IPv4 address in the port forwarding page. In the WAN host IP and WAN host address enter the IPv4 address. In WAN port and WAN host port enter the port from the server properties file. Click on apply. Now the port forwarding is done. Search for what is my IP address on Google to get your public IP. This IP will be used by your friends to join the server. Start the server from start.bat. And as you see now you can join the server without any problems and free of lag. The server will be online as long as the server.bat is running on your PC. When you want to stop the server type save dash all in the commands to save everything, then write stop to shut down the server. That was everything for today, thanks for watching and see you next time.